What lurks in the bushes, usually unseen? What secrets are hidden among the trees waiting to be uncovered? The jungle is a dangerous and terrifying place, but you might not know that there are scarier things than the predators of the animal kingdom. These disturbing discoveries will make you question everything you know. But be warned, if you venture into the jungle alone, there's no telling what you might find. These are 20 of the most horrifying discoveries in the jungle. Nazi Hideout You'll never believe our first tale of a haunting hideout from World War II. When archaeologists began their work deep in the Argentinian jungle, they would have never thought they'd discover one of the largest collections of Nazi artifacts in the country. Among the natural beauty of the dense vegetation, an abandoned building was found. It contained German items dating back to the 1940s. Researchers from the University of Buenos Aires, which is situated near the site, located around 75 items that included coins, ammunition, medical devices, and even weapons. These Nazi objects were tucked away from prying eyes in a secret room, with evidence suggesting that the building once housed Hitler's private secretary, Martin Bormann. It's clearly a location of grave importance. We can only guess at what the true purpose of this jungle retreat might have been, but it's possible that it was intended to be a hideout for the Nazis if they ever lost the war. False rumors always circulated that Hitler fled to Argentina to escape the consequences of the Nazis' defeat. Perhaps this building was to house more Nazis fleeing from their actions. What do you think the true purpose of the hideout was? Was it more sinister? Canvas of Ice Age Step this way to look at Earth's ancient history. The Amazon rainforest is one of the planet's most stunning areas. It contains over 3 million species, but we don't often think about the animals that went extinct. A British Columbian team of researchers discovered an 8-mile wall of prehistoric paintings in the Chiribiquet National Park in Colombia. The area was once inaccessible, but modern technology has helped us carve a path through the treasure trove. It was thought to have been started around the end of the Ice Age. That's somewhere between 12,600 and 11,800 years ago. The indigenous paintings were created using a red pigment called ochre that was commonly used during that period. Animals like deer, bats, monkeys, and creatures we wouldn't even recognize today are depicted among the artwork. Some of them are extinct. And with human-like figures and complex patterns filling out the scene, the jungle secret is truly an incredible link to our past. But the image is also a horrifying reminder of how much the planet has changed. It's an echo from a bygone age that was ravaged by climate change. So there you have it. Art from the past may be teasing our future. B-17 Bomber if you're interested in modern horrors, then take a look at this startling discovery. While humankind might be obsessed with finding out more about our ancient history, the jungle is also home to recent tragedies. Washington's Olympic Peninsula is home to some of the country's greatest hikes. The Tubal Cain Trail is an especially famous expedition that reveals a terrible accident that took place deep in the forest. In 1952, a B-17 bomber flew across the Olympic Mountains, it was kitted out for rescue missions, designed to save those stranded in such difficult terrain. But the blizzard conditions would prove themselves to be deadly. The bomber's wing was clipped and it crashed into the trees. Three members of the crew were tragically killed. The rest of the group set up an emergency shelter and were rescued the following day. The Tubal Cane Trail still contains some of the wreckage from that fateful accident. It's a haunting scene and a reminder of how harsh this environment really is. Abandoned Station You won't believe how horrifying old buildings can be. Abandoned structures usually act as a pathway to the past. They might look creepy and uninviting, but they could have once been key to their local communities. That's the case for this abandoned train station depot. Maplewood Train Station in Bethlehem, New Hampshire looks like a haunted house. But it was built in the 1800s and acted as a vital link to Boston, New York, and the surrounding towns. It acted as a crucial piece of infrastructure and would have made all the difference for local businesses. Yet there was no longer any need for the train station by the 1920s. Cars and new roads removed the usefulness of the rail transport. The tracks were pulled up and the train station was left to rot for over 100 years. Although there are projects to restore the building for, to its former glory, its current state is a ghostly shell of what it once was. Maybe spirits live within its walls. Alien Space Rocket 
Look away if you're worried about alien activity. Nobody expects to come across a strange space rocket in the middle of the forest. But two Russians were faced with a dangerous device after embarking on a hunting trip. They assumed that they would be chasing after deer and rabbits, but their exploration in the Komi Republic didn't go as planned. One night, they heard a huge crash close to their camp. The next morning, they went to investigate. The duo came across a crashed rocket, which had been completely abandoned. It was severely damaged, and of course there were concerns over whether the ship was radioactive. If we're being honest, it wasn't actually extraterrestrial. In fact, RKTS progress was stamped on the side of the rocket, confirming it was Russian. The ship would have begun life flying from Plastesk Cosmodrome, but a shocking crash left it lying in the woods. It's truly horrifying to think what might have happened if the rocket became explosive. Crash sites might be exciting, but this one is better off avoided. Biggest Snake You're probably getting used to man-made terrors haunting the planet's jungles, but we shouldn't forget about the animal kingdom. The jungle is home to a variety of scary species, and it turns out that the Dominica rainforest contains one of the deadliest of all. Local workers set out to clean up areas of the forest. They definitely knew there were creepy crawlies hiding in the foliage, but they suddenly came across an unidentified species of snake. It was so long that it was dubbed the world's biggest snake. It was at least 10 feet long. If you can imagine it, you know how truly horrifying that is. The snake was so huge that the workers had to bring in a crane to remove it. For their safety, it was also super heavy, which meant the crane struggled under the weight of such a big predator. There's no way most people would go anywhere near that forest again if they knew what it hid. Devil's Tramping Ground Jungles can hold secrets we can't explain. It's rare that those mysteries are linked to the supernatural though. In Chatham County, North Carolina, there's something strange in the neighborhood. Travel to Bear Creek and you'll find a perfectly circular patch of soil. That might seem pretty ordinary, but what's odd is that nothing will grow within the dirt. The forest has gone down in legend because of this eerie tale. Scientists have tried to explain this phenomenon, but there doesn't seem to be any answers. No matter what people do, life cannot thrive in the circle. It's become nicknamed the Devil's Tramping Ground. Locals believe that Satan himself may arise from the area, stomping around and killing the plant life. Other theories suggest a UFO once landed on the site and could have even been a sacred burial ground. It might be that we'll never truly know what happened in Chatham County. Tourists come from all over the state to take a peek at the Devil's Playground. Maybe they will be the ones to discover the truth, but there is one fact we missed out. If you walk across the circle with a compass, it jumps. That's some horrifying activity happening on that ground, and we don't want to know why. Medieval Ring Urban legends and fairy tales always seem to be linked to mysterious forests. That's been the case with Sherwood Forest, which has gone down in history because of its infamous outlaw. Nottingham is home of Robin Hood and many tourists flock to see where the archer robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. But the forest hides plenty of other links to medieval history. One treasure hunter came across a jackpot during his own search of the location. Mark Thompson made a hobby of exploring these historical lands in the hope of finding something special. When his metal detector first showed signs of life, Mark would never have thought he'd actually come across genuine treasure. But once he had dug up his discovery, everything changed. In Sherwood Forest, Mark had found a ring that could be worth up to 70,000 British pounds. Experts think the ring was actually made in the 14th century. It's engraved with a picture of the baby Christ and female saint, and boasts a big blue gem at its core. Maybe the ring was stolen by Robin Hood himself and was intended to be given to someone who sorely needed the money. Alas, we will never know for sure, but the law is that it must be sold to a museum for further research and display. So Mark Thompson can add himself to Robin Hood's rich list. The Modern Mummies of Papua Mummies have been linked to Halloween and horror. Maybe it's because of the film of the same name, but we've all come to fear the idea of a mummy coming back from the dead. Traditionally, it's the Egyptian mummies that are given all the attention, with the ancient civilization preserving the bodies of their loved ones so that they could travel to the afterlife in peace. But in Papua New Guinea, the jungles hold the modern mummies of the Anga people. Here, mummies are created not for the dead, but for the living. 
Preserving a loved one means that their family and friends can look upon their face whenever they want. The Papuan process of mummification is dying out, with far fewer people knowing how to do it. And what's more, the mummies that were created in the last century don't last all that long. It's not uncommon to find the bones of the deceased throughout the jungles of Papua New Guinea, remnants of a mummy that had been left to watch over a forgotten village. In the 1950s, a village chief and shaman known as Moi Mango was one of the last people to be mummified in the region. The mummification was created using smoke, but the discovered body hadn't aged very well, and so in 2008 there was a project to restore the mummy to its former glory. It's probably not a technique that's going to become more widely used, but for now the jungles of Papua New Guinea can still be called home for a few former living residents. Lost City of the Monkey God Lost cities are the stuff of legend, so if you're a treasure hunter and an avid explorer, you're going to want to know about this. The lost city of the monkey deity was the stuff of legends for so long. In the 1940s, journalist Theodore Morde claimed to have discovered the famous white city, but was clearly horrified by what he had seen. With claims that there was evidence that the people of the ancient civilization worshipped monkeys, what Morde had found matched what the old story said with rumors that there was even a society of monkey-like people once living in the city. The lost location became even more mysterious, but Morday committed suicide and never told anyone where the city was hidden. A team of archaeologists traveled a deep into the Honduran jungle to attempt to find the monkey city for themselves. What they discovered in the Mosquita region was truly shocking. They came across 52 artifacts, which included the head of a monkey statue, they even discovered evidence of two different cities in the area, but what was even more disturbing is that the area was populated by monkeys who watched the explorers every step of the way. The area hadn't been touched by humans for centuries, while the archaeologists didn't have permission to excavate the site. There are plans to do so in the future. Maybe this forbidden city should have stayed lost, because who knows what horrors it hides. And now it's time for our open discussion. Look at this image. With so many horrifying things in the jungle, this mysterious creature is definitely one of the strangest things someone could find. In 2014, a group of conservationists trekked through the crooked forest in Poland, and they came across the body of the unknown species. They initially heard a large sound and followed before coming across the deceased creature. It was found with an odd piece of technology that looked like it could have been camera equipment. They just captured it in the jungle, and nobody can believe it. It's most likely that this was a prop put together to scare passers-by, but if this was truly an alien visitor, then it's all more harrowing. What do you think it is? Is it all a hoax or are beings like these waiting to be found by unsuspecting travelers? Make sure you comment with the hashtag open discussion so we can hear your thoughts. The Stone Head of Guatemala There's so much we don't know about ancient history. If you want to reveal its secrets, then take a look at this stone head. In the jungles of Guatemala, this carefully sculpted statue was uncovered. Dr. Oscar Rafael Padilla Lora unearthed the picture of the discovery in 1987, but the picture was actually taken in the 1950s. It's an impressive display of artwork, but there's something more horrifying about the statue. The features on the face are far closer to Caucasians. The features did not match the pre-Hispanic races of America that existed in the time of its creation. No one knows what could have served as inspiration for a statue that didn't reflect the people it was built by. But horrifyingly, the statue is looking up into the sky. Urban rumors suggest that it was aliens that urged the builders to create such a monument. The people could have based the design on those very same aliens. Dr. Oscar Rafael Padilla would later go on in search of the statue himself, when he found it in a small village in La Democracia. It was almost destroyed. Fighting in the region has left its features unrecognizable, but the doctor did get its measurement, with the statue potentially going 20 feet high. Whether it was aliens or a civilization that has been lost to time, we'll never know why the head was carved or whose head it was. Secret Inca City The jungle is good at hiding lost cities, even when they should be in plain sight. Archaeologists have found an Incan settlement in Peru, in the middle of the jungle. What's so strange about the city is that we hadn't found it sooner. Its location is very close to Machu Picchu and other key religious sites. 
Named Yaktapata, the ruins are at the top of a mountain and were initially discovered using infrared technology. The city includes many impressive buildings, including houses and a sun temple. The city is also built in line with Machu Picchu, which shows just how detailed the Incas really were. The precision in the design is well hidden by the natural overgrowth. There may be even more secrets hidden beneath the plant life waiting for scientists to unearth them. Inaccessible through traditional means, it is thought that the city could have been abandoned when the Spanish arrived in South America. There are so many questions to answer about the lost city, but it could have been a stopping point for people traveling to Machu Picchu. Perhaps the lost city was lost for a reason though. Should we go digging up the past? Lost Cities of the Amazon From films to books and video games, lost cities are continuously the inspiration behind great fiction. There is something equally mysterious and horrifying about a hidden civilization and the secrets it may hold. The jungles of the Amazon rainforest are too dense to fully explore, but exciting technology known as LiDAR could be the key to unlocking the Amazon's history. LiDAR creates digital laser maps after scanning an area. Scientists applied this technology to their rainforest and were truly excited by the results. The Amazon has hidden ancient cities that have been completely lost to time. While infamous locations like the lost city of Z had always been urban legends, there's now some truth to the claims. Researchers haven't even begun to get to grips with what they have really found. With further expeditions needed to dig up these clues, but the trees of the Amazon are so thick that regular equipment wouldn't be enough to pick up all the details of these cultures and peoples. These cities represent civilizations that we never even knew about. Some of the strongholds line up with the Casarabre culture, with complex canal systems showing a tiny aspect of their way of life. Over the next few decades, we'll learn even more about these mind-blowing hidden worlds. And there you have it. We don't even know how many more civilizations we'll find. UFO Sighting Finding lost cities and ancient cultures in the Amazon rainforest is shocking, but it isn't completely unimaginable. UFO sightings are a completely different ballgame. The state of Rondania in Brazil is home to part of the rainforest. There are areas where there's nothing around for miles and miles except for trees and wildlife. It's an abandoned area, untouched by humankind. That's what makes this next sighting so terrifying. Using satellite imagery, people have found odd lights shining out of the jungle. There is no electricity and no human technology anywhere in the region. And yet, a strange UFO-like object has been seen just above the trees. It's ball-shaped, lights are clear as day, perhaps these massive objects are evidence of someone impossibly living in the jungle. Or maybe it's a sign that aliens are very familiar with the territory. With links between extraterrestrials and the ancient civilizations of the Amazon constantly being made, could it be that this is just another piece of evidence of alien interaction? Number 6. Mysterious Rings The Amazon rainforest continues to tell us more and more about the people that came before. What's truly horrifying is when everything we know is changed completely. The assumption had always been that the ancient societies that lived and worked in the Amazon made no impact on the environment. It was presumed that they moved from place to place, never taking more time than they needed from the land. But modern deforestation has proven that to be untrue. Huge rings can be found in the ground, often up to 16 feet deep and wide. They are man-made and predate the rainforest itself. They would have been made during a time where the land was barren and the terrain was unforgiving. They might have been dug as trenches or built to hold the foundations of big buildings. Their purpose is a mystery, but there is always speculation that aliens were involved in their creation. Seeing the images from satellites really shows just how wide they are. It would have taken a lot of work to construct these rings, and since we aren't aware of any tools that could have helped to form the rings, the discovery shows how little we know about those ancient peoples. Uncontacted Amazon Tribe If you're scared of the unknown, then step this way. Because despite all the discoveries we've made, we're still scratching the surface of what we know about the planet and its people. The idea that a civilization exists that has forever been cut off from the rest of the world seems impossible. In the modern age of the internet and technology, people can contact one another anytime, anywhere. But drone footage of the Amazon rainforest in Brazil has captured images of a tribe we didn't know existed. 16 indigenous peoples were pictured in the tribe, which was found near the Peruvian border. 
They had constructed small huts and rudimentary tools living off the land in this isolated region. Supposedly, there are at least 16 other tribes which the rest of the world has never made contact with before. It's impossible to imagine what they must think of a drone flying past, capturing their image. Their way of life is disappearing, but what they could teach us about living in harmony with the planet could be vital for the future. But it's vital that these tribes are kept hidden and protected. What's more horrifying is the idea that the outside world could interfere with their thriving communities. Violence and disease could wipe out these tribes completely. We might want to know more about them, but they don't need to know more about us. Kina Balu, Giant Red Leech The animal kingdom is full of wonders and horrors. Leeches are among the most feared animals. The idea that someone can suddenly become covered in leeches after a quick dip in a jungle river is truly terrifying. The Kinabalu giant red leech could feature in your worst nightmares. Found in Mount Kinabalu, Borneo, this jungle critter can grow up to 20 inches in length. That's much larger than the average leech. It's bright red too, acting as a warning sign against potential predators. While it might look scary, there's also something beautiful about the way the light catches the colors of the leech. In truth, despite its name, there isn't anything to fear, unlike traditional leeches. The Kinabalu giant red leech doesn't suck human blood, instead it eats worms in the region, sometimes swallowing multiple at the same time. It's not a creature to be avoided, it's actually a sign of the beautifully balanced ecosystem that can only be found exclusively in the Kinabalu region. But imagine what it would be like to come face to face with such a creature. The Lion Fortress Some truly remarkable things have been built in the jungle. But none are more impressive than Sigiria. Known as the Lion Fortress, the archaeological site has been found in the jungles of Sri Lanka. The Lion Fortress in the Maytail district of the central province of the country is located on top of a rock which is around 590 feet high. It was said that the rock was chosen by King Kashyapa to house his palace sometime between AD 477 and 495. The fortress was completed with a large gate shaped like a lion, hence where the structure got its name. The stairs up to the gate are framed by two massive paws, a startling sight for anyone visiting for the first time. The complex ruins display the ingenuity of the people at the time. Gardens, a hydraulic system, and the remains of what would have been huge buildings all form the basics of the king's palace. Paintings at the site provide a fascinating look into this bygone era. In the 14th century, the area was taken over as a Buddhist monastery, adding to its rich history. Today, it is a protected UNESCO heritage site, so that generations in the future can learn from its history. Nobody could have expected such a monument to be so intricately created and hidden in the middle of the jungle. But Sigiria, which literally translates to Lion Rock, is a sign of human ingenuity. Just think of everything that was achieved when Lion Rock was made. Amazon Stonehenge Stonehenge is one of the world's most mysterious sites. The British stone formation continues to baffle researchers. Nobody knows what Stonehenge is really for. But the Amazon has its own version of the prolific structure. Deep in the jungle sits Rigo Grande, which has become known as the Amazon Stonehenge. It can be found in the Amapa State, Brazil, not too far out of the Calcion City. The Stonehenge is built from granite blocks, in fact, there's 127 of them. And just like the UK Stonehenge, archaeologists aren't too sure what it's for. It might have acted as a religious temple, it could be a burial site, perhaps it was designed for astrological purposes. We may never know the answer, but the 1000 year old stone circle continues to bring in tourists. It's 13 meters in height and the circle is 98 feet wide. While researcher Emile Gioldi first reported the location in the 19th century, explorers have only just begun to scratch the surface of the secrets of the Stonehenge. It's horrifying to think of why it actually might have been built. Take a moment to imagine all the possibilities. Bridegroom's Oak And here we are, the final terror that can be found in the jungle, except not everything is truly horrifying in these eerie places. Sometimes beautiful discoveries are made, like the Bridegroom's Oak, located in a forest in Eutin, Germany. The Bridegroom's Oak is known for the spells that it casts. The tree is linked to love and has brought many couples together. The 500-year-old oak tree has played matchmaker for decades. 
It began when a couple who were forbidden to be together because of the bride's father hid their letters to one another in a hole in the tree. Eventually, the father changed his mind and the pair got married underneath the bridegroom's oak. A tradition was born and many hopeful singles still send letters to the tree. As if it's a dating app. Plenty of marriages are owed to the tree and it even has its own post address now. Do you think this folk legend would help you find love? And there you have it, the jungle and forests are home to so many horrors, both natural and man-made. While we may never fully learn all the secrets of our great planet, we can do our best to keep on researching and exploring. Maybe you'll find something horrifying in the jungle, but if you do, be prepared to run.